This is Cheryl Arias Wicker with Christian Movie Connect, and we're with Mark Cochran at the NRB convention. We're on the exhibit Very floor. Exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Now, you are a producer, a writer, a director. I mean, you just kind of wear a lot of hats, don't you? Well, I have here recently, yeah. We've got a film that uh, we actually will be premiering uh, next month, March 4th, in Greenville, South Carolina, to a, a sold out crowd. So we're excited. Okay, so uh, tell us what the name of it is. The name of it, the name of it is First Do No Harm. Uh, it's a pro-life short film, 17 minutes. And, of course, that title is taken from the Hippocratic Oath that every doctor takes. And uh, there's a great irony there, of course, if an abortion doctor is actually killing babies when he has uh, taken an oath to do no harm. So, so uh, tell me uh, how the storyline of the movie goes. Well, it's, a, uh, it's an interesting concept, what we did is we take a school shooting, like what happened at Sandy Hook, and we juxtapose that with the death that occurs in an abortion clinic. And we take a school janitor who's not a, they've been able to have children. He and his wife have been barren for seven years, and so he's adopted all the kids in the school. He loves them, they love him. And when a school shooting occurs, it becomes very personal for him. And uh, he puts himself in harm's way and actually stops the shooting, saves this one little girl's life, and I won't tell you any more because there's a twist. But uh, there's got to be a twist. He ends up in an abortion clinic later and starts to put in his mind, put together these two scenarios, and and realizes there's a great similarity here and a great, actually, inequity and hypocrisy uh, that that we allow these two things to occur and we don't see them as synonymous. You know. So, do you have uh, some pro-life organizations that are behind this project? Well, we. We are actually working with uh, a number of pro-life organizations. One is called uh, Piedmont Women's Center. It's a local uh, pregnancy center in our in the upstate of South Carolina, and uh, as well as Nightlight Christian Adoptions. Now that's an, that's a national, even international organization. And uh, in fact, we'll be at their gala in LA in March, uh, showing our film there. So we're really excited about that. Uh, just two weeks ago, I don't know that we've talked about this, but just two weeks ago. We brought on um, John Waller. John did music for Fireproof yes. and Courageous. He heard about our, our project, and he's got a new uh, new album out called Life is a Gift. He's given us his title track to use in the film. Oh, fantastic. So we're really excited about that. John will be at our premiere doing a three-song mini-concert for everybody. We just shot a music video for him Monday uh, of that song, which he'll be using on the road all over the country to promote the film as well. So a lot of really neat things have, have happened for us. So. so this is a short film. Are you expecting to make a, a full feature from it? We are. Uh, there's been talk about that even before we started shooting the short. We had some folks with a, a very large Christian studio approach us and say, we want to talk to you about doing a feature. And I said, that's on the back burner. Uh, because this short, had a, we had a real purpose. There's a vision for this, so, for the, so that uh, crisis pregnancy centers and churches it can be a tool for them. And whereas a feature, nobody's gonna sit and watch a two hour feature at a pro-life banquet, you know. So my heart was to produce this short so that it can be actually used and and, and they can have it as a, a tool to use for what they're trying to do. So. Fantastic. Well, so nice to talk with you. How can people find out more information about this well, movie? they can go to our website. It's fdnhfilm.com. The first letters of First Do Harm, fdnhfilm.com. The trailer's there. Uh, there's also a donate button there so they can help us. We are, we're still quite in arrears in terms of funding, but that's fine. The Lord will bring it uh, in his time. Uh, so, and there's a lot of videos on there. I did a video every day on set, uh, interview with cast or crew to kind of tell people what, how, where we were going, what was happening. Uh, so there are a lot of little things on there. Some endorsements from people, R.C. Sproul Jr., Ligonier Ministries, one of our big endorsers and is involved in the project. So. Uh, have fun. Just go there and, and take a look around. Well, thank you for being with us. Thank you for tuning in to Backstage. Tune in again next week. We'll have another great interview for you. This is Cheryl Wicker.